And Brooke and Bob, good morning. Well, Nikki Haley exceeded expectations, but still, this was a clear win here in New Hampshire for Donald Trump. You know, we won New Hampshire three times now, three. The former President Donald Trump claiming a big win over former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley in Tuesday's New Hampshire primary. She did very poorly, actually. She had to win. Then she, she failed badly. Haley congratulated Trump on his win, but she says she will not drop out of the race. New Hampshire is first in the nation. It is not the last in the nation. Haley's campaign may have gotten a boost from independents here who are allowed to vote in either party's primary, and turnout in New Hampshire was strong. We got close to half of the vote. And while she fared better than expected, it wasn't enough. Still, she says she is the better candidate to take on Joe Biden. A Trump nomination is a Biden win and a Kamala Harris presidency. I think her better messages would be if she talked about the America First agenda and promised the voters, including the Trump voters, that she would do exactly what he's done but do it differently. Meanwhile, even though Biden was not on the ballot after a rift between New Hampshire and the Democratic Party, he still won after a write-in initiative, though his campaign does not acknowledge the victory. And his top Democratic challenger, Congressman Dean Phillips, is promising to stay in the fight. Stay in the fight. And, you know, those, those writing campaigns are not easy to wage, and ultimately it was successful giving Biden the win, even though there are no actual delegates apportioned uh, because of this fight between New Hampshire and the Democratic Party. Brooke and Bob. Right. And then uh, on the Republican side, on to South Carolina here, as you said, Nikki Haley's home state, and she, she's not polling that well. She really didn't address last night what her actual path forward was going to be. Yeah, what's the strategy in South Carolina? Donald Trump in every poll there recently has a very big lead. He's been able to build support amongst a lot of officials in, in Georgia, excuse me, South Carolina, including both sitting senators there. Um, so that's an advantage that's going to be tough to chip away at, uh, yeah. even though Haley is from there. She's been the governor of South Carolina. Yeah.